Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. Today in this short video you will learn how to put page counts on your WordPress website. So if you are running a WordPress blog or a news website and you want to put page counts like this one on your website then you can do it easily by watching this video. And for that we will use a simple free plugin, Post Views Counter. And the reason for using this plugin is as you can see we have three methods for collecting page or post views using PHP, JavaScript, REST API. And we also have possibility to manually set views for a post. And we also have a dashboard widget in which we can see the page view or a post view inside our dashboard. And you can read more about this plugin here on this page. This is also compatible with this plugin and is also compatible for translation. So let's see how this plugin works. We will just copy its name. And this is the website on which we will use this plugin. So we will just go to its dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and we'll search for that plugin. So this is the plugin by Digital Factory. Just install and activate this. And the plugin is activated now. We can go to settings and post views counter. And here you can do some settings for this plugin. For example, you want to display this on content block, elementor hidden and footer and so on. In this case, I only want to display this on posts. And then you can select a counter mode. So you can select any of these and all of these work the same. And you can enable this to display the widget. And you can restrict this. And you can select the interval counter. So after 24 hours. And reset interval after 30 days and so on. And here enter 0 if you want to preserve your data regardless at stage. So here you can write 0 if you don't want to reset the counter. And here you can select cache interval time. And here you can select specific visitor like logged in user, guest, selected user role. And you can have multiple roles on your WordPress website. You can select them over here. And you can also exclude specific IPs. So for example, you don't want to display this in a specific country or specific region. You can put those IPs here and you can exclude them. And then they will not see the post counts. And inside tools, we can import views from another website. And here we can deactivate this plugin and can delete its data. Now let's go to display settings. And here we can change the label. So here as you can see post views. And we can change this to page counts. Or I can write this. And again we can select post type for this. So we want to display this on post only. Page type. So you can display this on home page, archive or single post. So we have selected post and single pages for this. User type, so we can display this for logged in user only, guests are selected user. Use it to hide post views counter from selected type of user type. So if you don't select any of these, this will display for all. This is position, so you can display this after content, before the content or manually. And if you want to display this manually, you will have to use this shortcut for this. Let's choose after content and here you can display icon and label or only icon or only label and here you can select an icon class and if you want to see the icon or want to change this the class for this you can click on this and this will take you to this page where you can select any of these icons you can copy its class and then you can put it here let's keep it as it is and uh, this is toolbar chart Enable to display post views chart at the toolbar. So this is for the WordPress dashboard. Let's save changes. Now if I go to the website and uh, we will go to insights or uh, we have some post here. So let's open this. We will scroll down all the way to the end. And uh, so here as you can see total page view one. So after installing this plugin, we only visit this page and that is why it's showing one. And if you want to change this text and icon, again, you can go back. You can change the text and the icon here. For example, let's choose this icon. So if you click on copy HTML, here you can see the class. So we will copy this and we'll paste it here and we'll save changes and refresh and as you can see our icon changed and you can also put this here in the sidebar if you want 
so you can go to customize and can customize the sidebar and can put that widget let me show you quickly if i go to customize and for that we will have to use this short code so let's copy this so let's go to widgets main sidebar and here we can put our code so for that we can search for short code and can paste it then click publish now let's close the customizer and we can see our total page views here in the sidebar now so this was how you can put page counter on your wordpress website for free i hope you have learned something new in this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next